Hello, and thank you for joining. Uh, this video is going to quickly introduce Vectra's strategy to detecting cyber attacks within the modern data center. And this is, of course, a really, really important topic because the data center typically is going to hold a lot of your most essential applications and data. So in terms of resources and the things that you want to protect as an enterprise, the data center is probably at the top of the list. And likewise, if you're thinking of things from the attacker's perspective, it's probably the most valuable target. Um, now, the security of the data center comes with its own kind of set of challenges and things that need to be addressed. And one of those is the fact that a lot of times by the, by the time you, an attacker gets to the data center, he may be a little bit more advanced or further along in the life cycle of an attack. And this is important because as we think about the way that the industry is kind of focused on bringing security into the data center, we've kind of replicated the model and the evolution from the perimeter. So we kind of started with segmentation, uh, firewall-like uh, uh, rules and access policy, and then brought over some kind of basics ar around kind of intrusion prevention, uh, some of our prevention technologies, again, that were kind of from the perimeter model. Now, these are good things to have. We want to have them in the data center. But two things we need to keep in mind is that segmentation and policy is not the same thing as finding uh, bad guys in the environment. We need to look for those malicious behaviors, and those are two different skill sets. And secondly, if we're thinking about kind of your AV or IPS style of approaches, by the time an attack gets to the data center, we may be dealing with a far more uh, mature attack than you would see at the perimeter. Um, by the time the attacker gets into the data center, he may have uh, already penetrated the uh, perimeter. He may have administrator credentials. Um, and th these are the one of the most common routes into the data center. So a lot of times there may not be an exploit. There may not be that need for malware. So we need to be looking for kind of more advanced behaviors. Um, the other thing that kind of stands out is that the physical layer of the infrastructure supporting the data center is really wide open. And this is where you see really advanced adversaries kind of focusing their attention. Uh, if the attackers can subvert switches and routers, um, the firewalls even, if they can subvert uh, the physical servers that are supporting the virtualized data center, then they can get to all the data that they want without ever having to even crack into that virtualized layer. Uh, if I can read the physical disk uh, on that server, I don't have to worry about trying to get into reading virtual disks at the apps and data layer. And this is what we see from these really advanced attackers, uh, things like we've seen from the recent dump around the equation group, uh, PixPocket, Sinful Knock uh, uh, a little bit further back, was another uh, su sub operating system rootkit that allowed attackers to kind of take control of infrastructure. And this is something that is really, really important because not only do we need to be looking for the right things in the virtualized layers, but if we can't recognize when the physical infrastructure has been compromised, then anything we do in the layers above it kind of becomes moot. So to do a good job, Vector's approach is that we need to understand both the virtual, uh, virtualized layers and understand them natively, as well as understand what's going, in the under, uh, going on in the underlying infrastructure. So uh, we do both of these things in ways that no one else in the industry really does. Um, we are going to be able to look at all of that traffic going back and forth that stays within the virtualized data center between workloads, look for signs of an advanced attack, signs of an attacker um, that may uh, already have access to those environments, may be stealing data, and we uh, integrate with VMware's vCenter to make sure that we always retain the right context of what's going on in that virtualized environment. If a new workload or a new application is spun up, 
um, we'll be able to see that, understand it, make sure that we always see it in the right context. But that's just the first part. We're also looking down at that underlying infrastructure. And this is the area where we have new detection models that frankly are able to expose some of the most advanced attacks in the world uh, and do so by understanding have these devices been compromised? Do they have uh, root kits below the operating system level? Have they been uh, subverted at a really fundamental level? And let's talk about you know, some of how we do that. So first, we're going to start by looking for things that don't make sense around administrator behavior. This could be uh, looking for signs of a rogue or a compromised administrator. Maybe he uh, typically supports certain applications, and now that administrator is going in and touching lots of different uh, applications and data sources within the data center that are typically out of his purview or a role of responsibility. We can identify that uh, behavior. Now we also apply that same uh, logic to those low-level protocols that manage the physical infrastructure. If you think about your out-of-band management protocols, things like IPMI, uh, these are incredibly powerful protocols because you can essentially uh, install your own operating system on a uh, on a server, even if that uh, server is powered down. So you can have uh, almost complete control over that server if you abuse your IPMI protocols, your out-of-band management protocols. Um, we are constantly watching that traffic as well and we'll identify any misuse of those protocols along the way so if someone's trying to uh, compromise that server we'll be able to identify that and let you know. The next step is something uh, we call shell knocker and this is really looking for uh, things like sinful knock or those uh, uh, pieces of uh, malicious code that sit beneath an operating system that can subvert either the physical infrastructure uh, or even a, a specific network port. Uh, and what this is looking for is when you have those low-level root kits, there'll be a knocking sequence, uh, essentially a sequence that the attacker is going to send that lets that root kit know, hey, this traffic is for you. We're going to watch and model all the traffic on all the ports to understand when we see these things that are out of, out of the norm and can recognize uh, that shell knocking sequence. And that applies again both at the physical level down to the port level or at the apps and data level uh, of your virtualized environment. And lastly, we're going to look for uh, where we ultimately always keep score is around data exfiltration. Now, we always want to identify and stop attacks before they get to this phase. But we have uh, specific new detection models that are designed for the data center. And you're lo we're looking for different types of exfiltration. One is called smash and grab. This is kind of your standard uh, really high volume uh, approach to exfiltration where the attacker is going to grab all the data that they can and pump it out quickly. But we also have models that are looking for what we call slow bleed. These are the much more subtle approaches to exfiltration, the low and slow approaches where the attacker wants to stay under the radar. So we have both of those approaches uh, in terms of models built into how we look into the data center. So. Um, certainly there's a lot more to learn here, but this kind of gives you an initial view into how we think about uh, securing the data center from really advanced attacks. If you'd like to learn more, certainly reach out to us here at Vectra and we'd be happy to answer any questions and certainly thank you for your time.